Supporters of the St. Lucia Labour Party flooded the Castries waterfront on Sunday afternoon for the highly anticipated Walk of Progress, the march which began at the VG Multipurpose Sports Complex and concluded on the iconic Castries Market Steps in a powerful demonstration of the party's perceived momentum. There were ringing endorsements from two independent members of parliament who have supported the Labour Party's message of progress and inclusivity. You have all kinds of nonsense, but the problem is, my friends, you're desolate. You're desolate. So they're trying to find all kinds of reasons to try and destabilize the government. This government is here to stay from now and beyond. Mokwe Canada Tale Alamadi, check on the man for me. See if he don't die of a heart attack. Because lay where Mungoha or Malado Blige Pway. You know, folks, I just I can't be long because you're the man who power by speech. You're the Nukavin Josh Wen Sebuna. I'll tell you all something. I'll do a T20. Let not your hearts be troubled. They will come with everything at us. And they will call it a scandal. But I'll tell you what. Never before has this country been led by a man who gives inspiration and leadership to his people like Philip Joseph Pierre. The event was filled with enthusiasm as participants celebrated the administration's achievements and expressed support for its future plans. The Castries Market Steps served as a platform for the party's leadership to highlight their accomplishments over the past three years. We are beginning the march to our next victory of 70 not in this country. For the very first time in the history of St. Lucia, we have seen rhetoric and policy coincide. And Philip J. Pierre is delivering as promised in this country. And we cannot afford to turn back. He's a great general leading us to the palace of development, to the palace of victory. And we have no alternative but to follow Philip Joseph Pierre, my brothers and sisters. The St. Lucia Labour Party leadership used the Walk of Progress event to highlight their achievements and criticize the opposition United Workers' Party. In speeches to a large crowd of supporters, party leaders accused the opposition of stagnation and mismanagement. That is the difference between this government this Prime Minister and the one who wants to come back. But never, 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 my sisters and my brothers, hold firm. The people of here for North, hold firm. This is the only party, the only party which has shown care and love of, for development in our constituency. And we have seen changes, more changes are coming. The Castries Market Steps, a historic landmark, became the stage for a passionate display of political confidence and defiance, reflecting what supporters tout as the government's determination to continue its current path despite criticism and opposition efforts. They're all over attacking professionals everywhere, attacking people who are doing the work of this country, writing articles about the Prime Minister's daughter, about every professional who is working hard for this country, they're attacking them. But we're proud of our work. They want public servants to take notes. Because if you work and you help the St. Lucia Labour Party government, you will pay. We have never seen such nastiness. But I'm asking you, all St. Lucians, hold steady. Have faith in your government.
The much-anticipated address by political leader Philippe Jepierre was met with enthusiastic applause from the crowd. Supporters cheered as Pierre took to the stage, delivering a rousing speech that echoed what party officials contend is a commitment to progress and stability. Keep your eye on the price, because the price, my brothers and sisters, is the minimum wage that will happen in October. That's the price. The price is that every worker in this country, when he gives a fair day's work, will get a fair day's pay. Every worker in this country, when he gives a fair day's work, will get a fair day's pay. And the prices. The price is, my brothers and sisters, every preschool in this country got an allowance to help your children begin a better education. That is the price. The SLP supporters argue that the Prime Minister's words reaffirmed the Labour Party's vision for the future, aiming to solidify his position as a progressive leader capable of steering St. Lucia forward.